Do you notice a theme today? I'm pulling a Zendaya. I am method dressing because today we are talking about the color that cannot be escaped right now. The color of the season, it is burgundy. Now some people call it burgundy, some people call it maroon, wine, Bordeaux, whatever you want to call it. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, saturated, dark red color, sometimes with notes of like um, purples and plums underneath, sometimes a little bit of browns underneath. That is stunning. And I will admit, I've totally been influenced. Those of you in the family, you all know that in the past this hasn't been my favorite color. And it is a color that I've always recognized that although I didn't love it personally, did look very good on me. And the thing is, is that it looks universally good on everyone. So I see why it's become so popular and I've become a total convert. And I would love to get some more burgundy pieces in my wardrobe. So I thought we could talk about the most gorgeous luxury items that I've been eyeing on the market in case any of them take your fancy too. Now here we have the Gucci Moon side shoulder bag in this gorgeous rosso leather, which I'm assuming means something reddish in Italian because that kind of makes sense. Um, but this is a beautiful shoulder bag. I have been eyeing it for a while. I really loved it in the summertime or earlier this year when they had it in like a gorgeous like hot pink Barbie color. But I feel like that was very specific with the size also and the shape of the bag. I was like, ah, it's a little too much. That's not the right one to get. This one I think is the right one to get. This is a classic style that is going to stand the test of time, but it's also different. A lot of shoulder bags feel very similar, you know, very, they all kind of blend together. This one feels different because of the styling, because of the Gucci buckle and all of that, because of the slight shape of it, you know, this one is unique. It's going to stand out. And I love that it's got the Gucci web strap. It is detachable. I do think it's interesting that this bag does not come with a plain leather strap also, because a lot of times Gucci does that. It's just the web strap that you get, but it is detachable. So you can also swap it out for other straps, which is really nice. It gives you some versatility in this bag. But overall, I think it's a gorgeous little cutie and a perfect shoulder bag for this fall. Let's have a moment to admire how chic this dress is from Acris. This is actually a neoprene shirt dress and you're like, but Lily, it looks like velvet. I'm assuming that the neoprene is underneath and that the velvet is on top. And I actually love this combo. It's super smart because neoprene is really great because it really smooths out a lot of lumps and bumps that we have. And I feel like in the fall winter, a lot of times we kind of default to sweater dresses and sweater dresses don't always work great with my body because it kind of accentuates and a little bit early in certain places. So I love the idea that this is neoprene underneath, but then it's got velvet on top. So it does feel very warm, very rich and luxurious. I think the styling of this is absolutely beautiful. A lot of times simple can read as boring, not this. This is gorgeous. This is a standout dress. If you wear this, people are going to notice. Pair it with some high knee boots, pair it with some high heels. This is absolutely stunning. And it's got pockets. So anytime something has pockets, we know we as women like it 10 times more. So this is a beautiful dress and I really recommend it. Now I know most of you have seen this bag before, okay? We have all seen the Sac de Jour from Saint Laurent. We've all seen it in all the sizes. We know that the nano size is very popular. Great, like I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but have you ever seen it in patent leather? I don't think I've ever seen a patent leather version before. Maybe they've started coming out recently. They have been doing a lot more patents and Saint Laurent does do patent leather absolutely beautifully. But this color with the patent leather is stunning. And a lot of times I do worry about patent leather bags because you do have more of a risk in terms of like getting color transfer, but because this is a dark color, it is extremely unlikely that you're going to encounter that problem. So if you're someone that like wants patent leather, but has been scared to get it because of potential color transfer, this could be a great option for you because it's so dark. It's just so unlikely anything would be able to color transfer on it. I think this is gorgeous. I, I love that this is like a very relevant take on a classic item from Saint Laurent and I kind of really want it myself. I am loving safari jackets in general recently because they've recently we've been seeing a lot more elevated versions of safari jackets. I know I've got one mentioned in another fall um, items video that I, I will link for you, but safari jackets are a really nice option when you don't want a blazer, you don't want a bomber jacket, and you don't want a big jacket. Those are like kind of the common jackets that we have a lot. We need something in between that's still got a little bit of length to it, um, can still keep you a little bit warm, but it's not a huge jacket. A safari jacket is a great way to go. And this one from Frame in this beautiful, like whiny Bordeaux colored leather is absolutely beautiful. I just think that this is such a nice way of doing a safari jacket that feels very up-leveled versus a lot of the other ones. And as far as leather jackets go in the luxury world, 
this one is less than $1,600, which don't get me wrong, relatively speaking to like the world is expensive, but in the world of luxury to get a leather jacket for less than $2,000 is an incredible value for money. So this is something that you should really look at if you've been thinking about adding a leather piece to your wardrobe. Now, even though it's fall, even though it's winter, you know, we gotta have a little fun. And a lot of time we wanna show some leg. And so you wanna have a really fun statement skirt that you could do that with. But sometimes statement skirts, in my opinion, be like a little too statementy. And so, I don't love it, you know, when that's the case. So I love this little croc mini skirt from Rowan Rose because although it is like in this Bordeaux Merlot color family, it's extremely dark. So it's not so bright that everyone's just gonna be staring at the color of your skirt, but they are gonna be looking at how cute your little croc and boss skirt is with this cute little belt. You can pair this with anything. Do it with a turtleneck, do it with a neutral color top, do it with a little skimpy top. You can style this so many different ways. This is gonna be a super versatile skirt and it just adds some like fun and whimsy to our sometimes kind of boring fall and winter wardrobes. Boots. We all need boots and a lot of us already have like our classic ones already covered. So like when you've got your black boot, you know, your neutral boot, your brown boot, it's kind of nice to venture out. It's nice to get a different color. And you want a color that's going to be able to be worn with a lot of things. And this shore boot from Bottega is definitely that. But one of the reasons I love this boot so much is the sole of it. This has a lug sole. And we know in the fall and winter, what happens? It snows. And so when it snows, a lot of the like dressy boots out there have a very slick bottom. And so you're gonna bust your butt a lot of times. Like if you're walking on ice, if you're walking on snow, you're going to slip and fall. So anytime I can find a winter shoe with a lug sole that doesn't look like I'm about to hop on a motorcycle is really nice. And so I am loving this boot. And I also just like like the clean, sleek lines of it. You know, it's not so overdone. So if you're looking to venture out in terms of colors in your boots, definitely take a look at this one. Now, what better way to inject this color into your everyday wardrobe than with a handbag? And I think this one from Mansur Gabriel is perfect because it is at a great price point and it is a very easy to wear style. It is a hobo bag that doesn't have too much going on. You know, it's something that will match a lot of different outfits. You can wear this to work. You, know, you can wear this running errands. You can wear this out to meet friends for dinner. You know, this is a pretty versatile bag. And again, it goes back to the price point. We know that Mansur Gabriel has great quality. And so something that's a really good price point that is really good quality that also helps you do a trend makes me feel like it's ticking a lot of boxes that makes this a very attractive bag option for you all. Now, obviously this is not an everyday item. This is a special get dressed up going out dress from Laquan Smith. Now I love this one shoulder scarf mini dress for so many reasons. I believe the color, I mean, it's just out of this world. But also I love the mock turtleneck. I love that it's like a little asymmetrical, kind of got this like one shoulder piece going on. But my favorite part is obviously the long cascading scarf. This is going to be a head turner. Anytime I've seen someone wearing a dress, a top, whatever, with this like long hanging down scarf piece, you can't help but look. It's like, who, who is that baddie with her long little gorgeous silky scarf hanging off her outfit? It just, it just makes any outfit look so beautiful. So I think this is a great one. You could obviously wear this like going out, if you've got any type of like birthday or like fun going out special occasion where you wanna celebrate, this would also be a great dress for holiday parties. If you've got anything coming up, I, obviously I know it's a little bit early for that, but buy your holiday dresses now before they sell out. So if you need a special going out dress in this color, I think this is the one for you. Now with all the price increases that we've been seeing in the luxury world, it is really hard to be able to buy a pair of shoes for like less than a thousand dollars, which is insane to me. Like, Luxury shoes, they don't need to be $1,000, but they are, and it's like, it is what it is. So sometimes there are styles that you really want to invest in, but you don't want to invest in them for $1,000 worth. And that's how I feel about chunky loafers. You know, loafers that have a sole that's a bit chunkier than what we've historically worn for like the past like 10, 20 years. So this pair from Rag Bone is perfect. These Quinn Penny loafers are stunning. They are beautiful. I love everything about the styling of them. I also love that they don't actually have any type of penny in them. They don't, so that's great. You know, uh, they, they, they got nothing, any type of like logo or emblem or anything like that. They're just like sleek. They've got the lug sole. It's not so chonky so that like as you're walking, you know, through with them, you look like you've got like, I don't know, like suitcases on your feet. Like they're still normal shoes that you can wear with a lot of different outfits. 
And again, they're in this gorgeous burgundy color. This one almost, if you look closely, it almost has a tone of like a little bit of purplish bluish underneath, which I like. So it's not so red and it's more really of like a true like Merlot color or something like that. So these are really beautiful. And if you're wanting some chunky loafers, I definitely think you should check these out. Now here, I'm gonna tell you about both pieces. There's technically a set from Legence of these like Livy, almost like crinkled velvet. They're pants and a blazer. To be honest, the blazer for me is okay. The pants actually are what I love here. These are such cute little pants and I can envision these being worn in so many different ways. First off, imagine pairing it with like a burgundy, like very tight fitted, either like crew neck long sleeve or like a turtleneck, like very like tight on top, a little bit more baggy loose on the bottom. Perfect. Um, you could also do this with like any type of like fitted like black top. This would also look really beautiful, I think, with like a like a black going out top. Think maybe like a black halter tech halter top with like a like a cowl neck, something like that. I think that these pants can be used in a lot of different ways, and these are going to be great again coming up for the holidays specifically because they're not just like beautiful on their own, but again, you can pair them in a way that would make them look more holiday esque. So you could pair them in different ways to like take care of like some of the different holiday parties that you have coming up, which is really nice. Again, you can buy the set. The, the blazer is great too. It's just not like a standout for me. As a set, obviously it's a beautiful set, but I really love these Legence pants. So I know I just went on a rant about not paying a thousand dollars for luxury shoes. And here I am showing you basically a thousand dollar pair of luxury shoes. But I just really like these suede sneakers from Prada. They're, they're everything I like. First off, uh, Prada flats and shoes in general are incredibly comfortable. You don't have any like narrow styling problems. They're easy to break in. I mean, unless you buy like those nylon ones, which aren't gonna be comfortable because they're nylon. Prada shoes are super comfortable. So I know these are gonna be comfortable. I also love that they're suede, like a little suede sneaker is really cool. And you can wear that for several months throughout the year. Again, it's in this gorgeous burgundy color that we're loving. I also love the gold detailing, it's beautiful. Also, you know, I was complaining about the price of like very expensive luxury shoes, but you know, when you buy nicer ones, you do get some better details. These are gonna be leather lined, you know, you've got the Prada emblem on there. You get a lot of like extra little like nicey, like fancy little things that make it feel a bit elevated. So if you are in the mood to spend a little bit more on a pair of sneakers, I am loving these suede Prada ones. So what's next? I think you need some sunnies now. And I really like these, they're called classic square sunglasses from Bottega Veneta. I actually don't think they're like as square as, as a lot of other glasses on the market. I personally would not call them a square, but these are beautiful. And I think what's really special about them is not just the shape. Like I think the shape is like a very easy to wear type of shape, but I love the side here, the little arms, the little gold detailing, it kind of like goes up, goes down. And it's got like two like little ridges in there. That's beautiful. It feels very delicate, but also like substantial at the same time. Because I think I really like like a delicate um, sunglass arm sometimes, but I still want it to feel hefty. I still want it to feel expensive. And sometimes thin can look a little like cheap, if you know what I mean. Uh, sometimes it can look cheap, but sometimes it can look cheap. So I think these ones do a really good job at kind of fitting like both sides of what you want out of the arm of a sunglass. Um, these are burgundy, of course. If you look at them on the website, it says burgundy slash brown, but the brown is just what they call the, the inner lens color. Um, so it is slightly brown, um, which is nice. I don't know if I need like red lenses, um, but these are beautiful. And this is like kind of like a less expensive way to get some of this color into your wardrobe. And kind of like how I was talking about with the handbags earlier, this is something that you can get daily use out of. So you'll kind of be like constantly relevant and like constantly trending if you wear these sunglasses in this gorgeous color. And Finally, we are going to talk about some shoes that you've seen before. The Lee Slingback Pumps from Saint Laurent. They became very popular like last year, like year and a half ago, um, but they're originally at a much higher heel height. And sometimes you don't want as high of a heel. And so recently they've come out with some lower heel heights and I am loving this one specifically because I love the juxtaposition of this kind of like glazed patent leather with the golden angular heel. And coupled with the fact that the heel is not too tall, you know that these are gonna be comfortable. Saint Laurent shoes in general are incredibly comfortable, very similar to the Prada ones I was just talking about. So these are going to be very comfortable and they are so chic. The pairing of these materials is just stunning. And if you think about everything we've talked about in this video, how many outfits could you make with this pair of shoes? 
Honestly, this would go with so many of them. So if you're looking for, you know, kind of like medium sized heel height, something that's still gonna give you a little height, but you're not like standing on your tippy toes, these are a gorgeous option. Definitely let me know what you think about these items. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts. I hope that you all like them as much as I do. And I hope that these can kind of give you some ideas for great things to get. So that way you can kind of be like on trend having all these burgundy items in your closet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, I would really love it if you could just give this video a little like. Just give a little thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping delivered straight to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.